Okay, so this is uh, in direct response to Mr. Tubacane's video, P222. Uh, here's my uh, setup. This is just a uh, treadmill motor. This one's rated at uh, 2.7 at 300 and 130 volts and 2 horsepower at 100 volts. So, you know, we'll call it a 2 horsepower motor. This came out of a, a Gold's Gym um, treadmill. I got it off of an uh, auction site for eleven dollars so you can't really go wrong there came with a really nice linear actuator uh screw type linear actuator so uh, obviously you see it comes in and out but if it's nice and stable it'll push it in uh this looks like it'd be a very simple uh positive negative probably 12 volts if i had to guess but uh didn't really look at it uh so um as we go to the circuit board here it's pretty simple there's our uh, bird rectifier, so our power uh, comes in right there and there. That's our voltage input. Um, looks like it just comes across this little uh, ferrite core. Clean up the power, maybe. Who knows? I don't. Not really a tech guy. Uh, goes across the bridge rectifier. Uh, goes across the capacitor uh, to clean up any ripples in the um, rectification. Uh, and then we have two. Um, chips here. Uh, this one on this side is a diode and then this one here uh, we're just going to call a transistor but it's a, a internally rectified gate, uh, fast acting gate, uh, which is probably controlled by, uh, if I had to guess, probably that little guy right there. Uh, that looks like it'd be maybe an Atmel, Atmega, not sure. Anyway, this half of the circuit board is completely useless. We won't be using any of this. Um, this is also not going to get used because that goes to the uh, control panel. This provides our 12 and uh, 5 volt supply, I believe. I think there's uh, two cores on there. I didn't really look at this. Uh, I'll look at it later. Um, but as for how it gets plugged in, all of these are always the same. Um, we have controls going... Uh, we have pinouts going to the control, so that goes to uh, the uh, the top here. So that'll do all of your buttons. Uh, you'll get your security switch, um, your screen, which I think is cracked. I'm not sure. Uh, heart rate sensor bullshit. We don't care about that. Um, this goes to the um, um, linear actuator. We're not using that. Um, this looks like it's just a sensor to tell the linear actuator where it is. We don't care about that either. None of that is important to us. Um, we don't care about any of these ferrites or capacitors or any of it really. Um, we'll be opening this up to have a look and see where it needs to be severed. Um, so we only use this half of the circuit board. We're not concerned about this half of the circuit board at all. Uh, what we're going to do is use this pin here. Um, the way that it goes, you can see that this one here will go to this diode and that'll go to, uh, go across, I believe that's a diode, pretty sure it's a diode, um, and that'll go across underneath here to, um, one connection, probably this one right here, and, uh, this is actually a diode, um, not sure why they're using another one, but there's gotta be a reason for that, 600 volt diode at, uh, 30 amps. And that provides uh, your uh, negative power, and then this one will provide your positive power. Uh, that one is going to be your uh, source, I believe. I would have to... No, it's, okay, that makes sense. Um, this is the capacitor. This uh, provides the clean power uh, through the diode, so it doesn't feed back through the circuit. Into the source, that is your uh, discharge, so that'll go underneath, and that'll go connect to here. And then that right there is our gate. This is what switches this on and off. And that'll be controlled through here, through some pulse width modulation magic, whatever the fuck it does. We're not going to use that. <clears throat> uh, if you just want to give it direct power, you can plug 5 volts directly to this rail. Of course, cut it off of the board because otherwise it'll interfere with these other circuit boards and cause switches to turn on and off because you're back feeding power not good so always clip that off and uh, solder a point directly to it again you can just provide it five volts live um, or you can get an arduino and provide pulse width modulation which would then give you speed control um, so the output out of this you can plug directly into the motor uh, which is 
right here. So plug it right in. Um, or you can put it through a dual relay to switch positive, negative, positive, negative. Um, this motor here uh, does spin freely both directions, which means that the brushes aren't, okay. I'm just gonna set it up over here. So as you can see, it spins freely in both, both directions, um, which means that the brushes aren't um, offset. If the brushes were offset like this, and then on the other side, down a little bit, then this would be a one direction only motor. This motor does spin in two directions. Um, so I'll probably be operating this at full um, 130 volts because um, I'm going to use this on a lathe. That little guy over there. Uh, that lathe there only comes with a one horsepower motor and that is kind of underpowered. So I'm going to do a couple of tests to see if I can stall it out. Um, wherever I can stall it out at, I'll try this motor. And if that motor fails, I got another one from an auction. And this one is the motor by itself. And this one I paid $23. So this is a three horsepower motor. Um, this one does have the uh, tachometer built into it. Um, this one looks like, yeah, uh, just counts notches. Uh, most of them work on batteries. Uh, again, this is from an auction. This was came right out of a Johnson. Um, this one actually says it's 2.25, 2 but it's much beefier, and I'm pretty sure it's right a little higher. It has a much bigger um, flywheel, which I'll be taking off and changing with a pulley. Uh, so if uh, this one doesn't work, I'll just use this one. And this one works on 90 volts DC. So I've got a uh, focus, you cock. Yeah, five, 90 volts DC. And uh, there we go, 31, uh, 3000 RPM. Nice and easy to work with. Uh, what's the RPM on this one? Uh, this one here is, doesn't say. But I've got a tachometer, so once I get it up to speed, put a little load on it, I'll be able to see what the RPMs are at. Um, that's it for that one. I've got another one which I've already modded for a drill press. Uh, that little guy right back there. So I'll be using that for the drill press and then putting it on my counter here somewhere. This is brand new counter is just racking and some counter that we uh, connected together. All right, that's that for a quick video. Get back to you.